hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. So Ravens versus Steelers, we're we're back with it. We're back with it. Um, we all know the Lamar news. So Tyler Huntley is gonna be the starter. Um, last time he played them, we caught the L. I know some people are going to sit there, well, it was overtime. Uh, L is a L. Win, lose, or draw, L is a L. So, um, right off the bat, um, this game, we're going really, we to really need to win this game because how we are looking right now, yeah, we ain't looking like we're going to do nothing in the playoffs. And that's really, that's all on my mind because it's right around the corner. But last time we played the Steelers with Tyler Huntley, Tyler Huntley completion percent, uh, complete 16, 31 attempts, 141 yards, average was 4.5 yards, two interceptions, zero TDs. And it's a lot of zero TDs. We're going to look at through his stats. But even last week, defense only gave up three field goals. And we got that last, like last minute touchdown. I know people was praising him and everything. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him, but looking forward, be real, can't win like that. Like that was like a top five team we were playing against for a top five where they're going to be picking in the draft top five. That's what I'm saying. Last week he had 187 yards. He like, well, it was like what? How many? Uh, how many attempts? Like thirty some attempts or something like that. But, oof, it's gonna be, it's gonna, oh man, it's gonna be bad. I'm, I'm gonna head and tell y'all, but the Steelers, it's gonna be bad. But let's look at his stats. So hold on, let me make it zoom up a little bit. All right, so we see that's what he did last week with the 187 yards interception. In my opinion, um, get ready to see him throw a lot of interceptions every time he start. I believe it's going to be an interception every game he plays. He has a tendency when that pressure is in his face, instead of throwing it away or out of bounds, he just throws it in the air and it's free for grabs. And that's how he got that interception last week. Even Mark Andrews was looking like, dude, what the heck was you doing? But anyway, so we see the game he did last last year with the Steelers, zero TDs. Then you look at um, what he did with the Rams, zero TDs, one interception. Steelers, it was two interceptions. And if you concentrate on his passing average, the highest he had was 7.1. So that lets everybody know He's going to do a lot of short passes, which we saw last week. And I know a lot of people's like, give him praise. He just came off the bench and all that. Yeah, okay. But we got to think about going forward. And it's a lot of subpar teams we're going to be playing against. And they're going to and they're gonna be coming for us pretty much to knock us out of our, what, 8-4. A streak, and right now we're undefeated in our conference. But with Pittsburgh, that could change. With the injury to Lamar, that could change because we got the Browns like right around the corner as well. So it's looking bad. It's looking bad. Even when he played um, Green Bay last last year, we still caught the L. I know people looking at the score. Well, it was only three one point. Like I said, L is an L. You don't get you don't get participation trophies. Hobbs might give away a lot of participation trophies, but it still it still does not help the team. So we're gonna have to carve up some wins. It's gonna have to be the defense that's gonna try to have to hold us down because we cannot strictly depend on Tyler Huntley. Like I ain't hating on the dude or nothing, but he's not Lamar. And Lamar at least put up 20-plus with the same offensive line, with the same wide receivers and tight ends, and running back Tyler Huntley is going to have. And I don't think we're going to even pass that. I don't think he's going to throw for, like, more than he, – he might throw, 
one, two touchdowns, but he's never thrown more than two touchdowns. When he was a starter, when Lamar was injured, he never threw for more than two touchdowns. And some people out there just, for some reason, don't like Lamar. Want Tyler Huntley to start. Talking about let Lamar go, let him walk. We can sign Tyler Huntley. Like, do y'all want to be a top 10 team in the draft? Because that's not a good thing. That means we was catching L's frequently. But I do, unfortunately, have the Ravens losing this game. Uh, Cause I think T.J. Watt, even he coming back from the injury, he's gonna have a resurgence and he's gonna be wrecking havoc. Like I said, Huntley has a problem with with pressure in his face. He just start throwing them up there, throwing the football up there. So it's gonna be it's gonna be some headaches because they got Fitzpatrick back there, and he's gonna be he's gonna be hawking, he's gonna be ball hawking. Waiting for waiting for Huntley to just throw one of them balls up there, trying to make a wish, and it's not going to be good. If we actually do win, I will be extremely shocked. I will be happy that my prediction was wrong, but we shall see. For as my score, I have I don't I don't have this this game going past twenty because I believe our defense is gonna play outstanding. Uh, for the Steelers, uh, baby hands. I think he's gonna go dec- be decent, but my worry is Pickens because we should have picked him, and I think he's heard about that. And he even came out saying he was frustrated that he's not getting the ball. Mike Tomlin, the guy I wish the Ravens had as a head coach, even he backed him up like, man, the dude is a playmaker, he should be getting that ball. I want players on my team wanting the ball. Hawes would have never said nothing like that. So, yeah, I think he's going to probably end up getting off. We're going to see. He might be on Marcus Peters. That in itself is going to be interesting because Marcus Peters admitted himself that he's lost a step. So is Mike Madonna going to kind of send some help his way? I know they said PQ is playing. Um, Kyle Hamilton been a tackling machine. That dude been everywhere. Where the ball happened to be, he's like in that in the picture in the frame. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen, and hopefully he can help out with some Marcus Peters or because ooh, Chuck and Chuck and um uh what's the, what's the other boy Gino they they tackle good, but covering ugh. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, I have the Ravens losing. Can't get no score prediction, but I can only say it's not gonna go past twenty. Because that's not Huntley's way. That's really not Pittsburgh and the still uh Pittsburgh and the Ravens way, really, with the current, you know, team we have, because when Flacco and and Bean used to go at it, yeah, it'll go up there. Cause they used to slang it. But um yeah, so y'all tell me what you think. Put your score predictions in the comments. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share, hit the bell. Everybody stay safe. God bless.